Hello and welcome to another Pixar video. If you'd like to check out my channel, I have plenty of other Pixar theories, reviews, and other content for you to watch, so if that interests you, feel free to check it out. Anyway, let's get into the video. In today's video, I'm going over things that almost happened in Pixar movies that would have made the movies very different from the way you know them today. To start off the video, we have Finding Nemo. As you know, in the beginning of the movie, we're shown a prologue to what happens to Marlin before Nemo's born. But that wasn't always going to be the case. Andrew Stanton originally wanted to have Marlin's backstory slowly revealed throughout the story. The viewer would piece it together through little bits and pieces of flashbacks that he would put throughout the movie. One flashback would include him meeting Coral. It would show them buying their anemone and eventually starting a life together and having children. And then at the very end, when Nemo's caught in the fishnet, it would be revealed to us how Coral died and why it had such a big impact on Marlin and why that caused him to be overprotective towards Nemo. The only reason this didn't happen was because Andrew Stanton felt that you would be more connected to Marlin's motives if you knew his story right from the start. The next movie that was almost very different is Monsters University. The original plan for this movie wanted to have Mike and Sully meet in elementary school. The only reason this almost happened was because of a line in Monsters Inc. where Mike Wazowski says, you've been jealous of my good looks since the fourth grade, implying they had a long history together. The scene had them meeting at Frighten Elementary School and Kindergarten. They had a rivalry with each other throughout the entirety of elementary school. The reason this scene got cut is because Pete Doctor and John Lasseter suggested it didn't fit the story they were trying to tell. It didn't make sense for them to meet in elementary school and then have to reintroduce their relationship later on in college. Next we have The Incredibles. We all know the iconic opening of The Incredibles that takes place during the glory days of the superheroes. But the original plan for the movie had it starting very differently. It was originally going to start with a backyard barbecue party that had Bob and Helen introducing themselves to the other couples in the neighborhood. When one woman asks Helen what her job is and she says that she's a mother, she starts mocking her to the other people at the barbecue. Helen then gets very angry at this and almost reveals that she used to be a superhero. But before she almost reveals this information, Bob tries to cause a distraction by pretending to cut his fingers. The plan works and they escape back home. Later at night, there's a break-in. Bob goes to handle it and this is where Syndrome is introduced. A lot of the elements of this scene made it into the final film just in different places. The whole speech that Syndrome gives was given later on in the movie in the final cut. They also took the whole idea of Syndrome kidnapping Jack-Jack and put that at the end of the movie. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and Bye.